Hey everybody, and welcome back. I'm Steve Piacenza, and welcome to Make It With Mod Podge. Today, Kathy is gonna show you how to create these really cool plates using clear plates, napkins, and dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So once you Mod Podge these plates, these clear plates into something like this, you're gonna be able to put them in the dishwasher and wash them. And Kathy's gonna show you how to do that. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Kathy Philly and I'm so excited to share the step-by-steps on how you do our cool plates. This is the plate that I'm going to be making. And like Steve said, we're using napkins to create these plates. I've got these fun jungle uh, napkins there. So let's get started. There's a couple of things I wanna tell you about. One is that we're using the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So this does have a longer cure time. Uh, it's about a 28 day cure time and we'll go into that in depth. Um, and this is dishwasher safe, top rack or um, hand wash. So that is super cool. We're gonna start with a clean, just plain glass plate. And when I'm looking for plain glass plates, I look for ones that don't have any logos on the bottom. Sometimes you'll see a stamping or something like that, and that's okay, but if you can find one that's plain without a stamping, that is the one to look for. I like to use an old um, like soup can or something to elevate my plate when I'm doing this project. So let's see, we've got our napkin here. So we're going to be using this really cute napkin and I wanna show you how we're going to separate the plies because what's important is that we're only using the top printed ply. So you'll just, you have to kind of see, you can see I sort of mangled it up there. You've gotta just get those separated and you'll peel them apart. And trust me, it'll take a minute for you to be able to even just get that corner back on some napkins. Some napkins are two plies, some are three plies, some are four plies. All you want is that top printed ply, just like that. Just the one ply. If you used all of them, you would get a wrinkled up mess that you would not be happy with. So make sure you're just using the one ply. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit more room here. Before the napkin goes down, we're going to clean our plate with some rubbing alcohol. And I like to use the plies that I removed for the wipe down. So just go ahead and add rubbing alcohol all over the back side. I should mention we're doing this on the back side. Get that cleaned. Definitely get those edges. Go ahead and take one more swipe at that. This is just plain old rubbing alcohol. You don't want to use cleaners or things that might have added scents and stuff like that. You just want to use plain old rubbing alcohol. That will get any uh, grease or anything like that off of there and that will help it be dishwasher safe. And now I'm going to set this aside and go ahead and prep out our napkin. And for our napkin, we're going to be applying it with the color or the print side down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just gently give this a mist. Let's just mist that napkin. And we'll let that sit for a second. And then I'm going to apply the dishwasher safe Mod Podge to the back of the plate. And to mix it, you wanna just give it a little roll like this on the counter, maybe an up and down. You don't wanna add a bunch of air bubbles. Go ahead and open that up. And we will add our first coat to the back of the plate, making sure you get those edges really, really good. And you want a pretty thick coat. You don't wanna have any spots on the plate where you don't have Mod Podge because then you it will not seal properly and you will not have a dishwasher safe plate. Again, this is top rack. So if you're doing a coffee mug or a glass or something, that's perfect for on the top rack. This is hand washable. If you had a larger machine, you could top rack this. Or if you're doing salad plates. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good there. Now I've got my damp napkin. We're just gonna pick that up 
and place that right on top of the plate, right in the center. And then gently, and remember this is the backside. You're seeing it pink, that's because it's wet, but this is the backside. Just gently go around with your finger and smooth out any, just kind of lift it and move it, smooth out any wrinkles. Because there's a little bit of a dome to a plate, you are gonna have to have a little bit of a crease at the edges there. Go around, just really gentle. I'm not applying very much pressure because if you do too much pressure, you run the risk of ripping your napkin. And then I just like to make sure right in the center here, the bottom, that I don't have any air bubbles. Okay, I think we're looking good. No rips all the way sealed. You want to make sure it's all the way at the edges and then just let it hang off like this. And now you're going to set this aside and let it dry. So you're going to let this dry because the napkin was wet and we're adding it with the wet Mod Podge. It's going to take a little longer than normal. So a couple of hours to dry. So I've got one that's been drying right here and you can see how that looks and it looks very different than how it's going to end up looking. That's because we haven't added the paint layers and all of the rest of the stuff. So this one here is dry and it's ready to be finished off. So to finish off the design, you're just gonna take some sharp scissors and go around the edge, just like so. And you're just gonna trim away the excess napkin. Now this excess napkin, you can use on another project. You could use it on wine glasses to create a complete look. You know, it's endless. So don't look at your scraps and automatically think, oh, I'm gonna toss that. You can do that onto a coffee mug or a little appetizer plate. It's all still good. Even though it's kind of crinkly, as soon as you get it wet again, it's fine. Okay, let's just go around. I like to do it one more time around the edge. On the other side, and just trim away. hard to imagine that this was just a napkin. Now this spraying technique works really good with napkins. Um, if you were to do paper, you wouldn't necessarily need to dampen the paper, but you could if you wanted to, depending upon the thickness. I think some of the thinner papers do good with a little bit of a mist before you're going on these types of surfaces. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the backside with a little bit of paint. And I'm gonna use some Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. Let's squirt a little bit of that out. And this is just a white color. I do white for almost all of these plates because the plies of the napkin are white. And so you wanna create that background color. Otherwise you got a transparent plate, which is cool. It's a cool look for something, but we want all of those design elements to really show through. So now you're just gonna paint the back of the plate. And don't worry, we're still gonna be sealing this with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. This is just so our design pops out. I'm gonna flip this over and see if we can, so you can already start to see the design popping out. I love, love, love this design. Okay, go around, make sure you get all the edges, just like so. And you would just keep painting and painting until the whole thing is covered. I'm not gonna paint this whole thing on camera because we have one that's painted and dried, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> so I'll just set this aside. Let's see, where can I set it? I'll set it right here. <laughs> and now I wanna show you how you finish it off. So I've got this one here that's been drying. This is just one coat of paint. You can do two coats if you want. Um, it's really not necessary. I do like to use the multi-surface paint because this is a glass friendly paint also. So it works on multiple surfaces. And now we're gonna talk about the sealing. So we're gonna seal it with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And this does have a cure time of 28 days. So if you're doing this for a party or an event, you wanna do it in advance. If you're doing this for giving as a gift, a lot of people do these, um, you know, with family photos or wedding invitations and they make a heirloom that can be hung on the wall. 
you're gonna wanna make, pay attention to that 28 day cure time. And that's gonna be really important in order for this to go into the dishwasher or to be properly really hand washed. So I'm sealing up all the edges and you're gonna do this three times, three times for this coat. And you wanna go all the way around, make sure you get all of those edges. Just keep going. I like to just make sure I'm going nice and smooth brush strokes back and forth. There we go. Now at this point, I would let this dry for two hours and then I would do two more top coats of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge then all you have to do is wait that 28 day cure time and boom, you got yourself a plate that is ready to be hand washed. These are so fun if you're doing like a gallery wall and you wanna hang them on your wall with a plate hanger. You can eat off of these because all of the work is done on the bottom side, but these are really fun to display as well. And I wanna show you some of the other plates. This is this super fun napkin there, so cute. And we're kind of going with a little bit of a jungle theme. We've got our animal print going on here. So these are really, it's all about the napkin that you choose. You wanna do holiday plates, grab some holiday napkins. You wanna do birthday plates, grab some birthday napkins. It's endless. But remember, use your dishwasher safe Mod Podge so that you can use these plates over and over and over again. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. We will see you next Thursday with another video. And of course, join us for our weekend watch parties. Make sure you tag Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so we can see what you're making. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.